welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon. I don't know why I laugh every time I say that, but people have been commenting how they like hearing that. So hey, fellow fans, thank you guys for stopping by. If it's your first time here, don't forget to hit the sub button, turn on notifications. I've got update info coming to you very, very soon. Now today, maybe not a subject that I'm super eager to talk about, my worst attack of all time. But before that, a couple of good attacks and this Clash of Clans update. Now, this is just a little bit of quality of life changes they're talking about. Uh, these are very minor things. Obviously, we want to hear more. We want to hear about the big update. Is there going to be balancing? But for now, you've got the Siege Machine. Now, the way this is going to work is it will always default to the last deployment method you used whether it meant that you used your own, you used a donated one, you used the regular clan castle normally, at least this way for players that are doing the same thing every time, you don't have to switch it every time. It's going to remember what your last attack was. If you do something different for you know pushing versus farming versus war attacks, then you will need to switch it. Uh, so it's just a minor quality of life improvement. And then donating siege machines, finally, I, th this is ridiculous to me, I don't even know why, it took this long at 1 XP for a 100,000 gold siege machine uh, to give experience. So now we've got 30 XP for that. And then, uh, I, I kind of like this one. When you start an attack, no troops are selected by default. I cannot tell you. And this honestly has been due for years, literally years. This is something I can remember back in the early days of Clash. When you find a village and you grab your iPad, oh man, wait. What's going on here? And you pick up the iPad because you found a village and you accidentally fat finger the screen, which, you know, you, your finger hits the screen somewhere on the edge and you drop a troop. Now, for people that are trophy pushing, it's not that big of a deal because they're likely going to attack every base no matter what. But there's lots of different situations where you don't want to immediately put down whatever default troop was selected. So... Finally, I again have no idea why this took so long either and uh, that's it as far as any information about any upcoming update. Now we also know that they must be working on Clan Ward leaks. That has to be on its way because it got teased. When was that? I, I don't remember. I, I'm, I think I was like a teenager when they teased Clan War Leagues. And here we are now, and I'm almost 30. So go figure. Uh, it's crazy how long we're having to wait right now, but it, it's going to be good, I'm sure. Okay, I have my faith. The Town Hall 12 update was pretty darn solid. This has been a long time coming, but I'm hoping that it's going to be significant. And also, yes, of course, I'm hoping to see other improvements, especially to the trophy pushing the clouds, that whole... Yes, I've been over that so, way too many times, okay? Uh, honestly, you guys, if you've watched the channel before, you know this is something I have harped about for years again and obviously also ping Supercell about on a regular basis just to remind them, hey, the community would love to see something to be done with the clouds, especially because it affects so many different players when clan games come around. So it's overdue. All right, so we're getting down to it. I can't avoid it much longer. We've got... Really, what is my worst attack ever? And I'm going to break it down live as the replay happened, uh, talking about exactly what I did wrong uh, as we wrap this up. So yes, I know, Electro Dragons, they feel like spam, but hey, they're not, okay? You may spam the Dragons and the Loons, but you do that with a lot of different attacks. It again comes down to what? Yeah, you may have heard this once or twice before. Timing and placement of spells, okay. So here we go, another three star. This is just kind of like proving like, hey, I don't suck all the time. I just suck some of the time. And uh, with that being said, there is a 10 trophy win. And here it comes, my worst attack of pretty much all time. I, I honestly, let's just go. Okay, so this is the base. And we'll just take a quick look and notice that the fundamental start here is, I'm thinking baby dragons on the corners to funnel, which is pretty normal. Uh, I brought the clone spell, two freezes, four rages, and the idea was that my quote unquote kill squad would come in and take out these two air defenses first, 
and then hopefully everybody would plow through, get after the Eagle Artillery, and worry not that much about the single target Inferno and the Town Hall on the far side. Just kind of count on the, the strength of the Electro Dragons, but boy, uh, did I overestimate that. So here we go. So the Baby Dragons are going to successfully funnel those outside buildings, and the idea being we get a big concentrated group of Electro Dragons. Then the Wall Wrecker, it's going to go right here, after this air defense, obviously it's going to make it a beeline for it. On the left-hand side, the heroes, the idea, the Barb King will probably wrap around here, start to clear these outside buildings. The Archer Queen will take out this second air defense. And man, come on, that's half of the air defenses in this, in this base. We should be perfectly fine to let the E-Dragons steamroll the rest. So the attack gets back underway, and you can see that the Siege Machine doing a great job. There goes the first air defense. The Archer Queen is going to move on to the next air defense, and there. So this is perfect timing so far because we've got the Archer Queen. She's actually going to finish off this air defense before a single shot gets off. But look at the drop of the Electro Dragons. Uh, now that I'm in, in looking back, an idea would be to maybe put them together more right here and let them all group up and kind of head this direction and go towards the Town Hall instead what I end up with is just a few on the left, a few more on the right, and then watch me drop the balloons. The siege machine goes down, and now the balloons are down. Now you can see what's happened here is we've got two distinct groups. We go forward a little bit more, and you can see most of the balloons now have gone off to the left. Only a couple have gone off to the right, and that is unfortunate because it's, you know, that whole tank and DPS thing. You want the tanks to be protecting the DPS, we don't have that much protection down here. Everybody else up here, you can see we've got the first rage spell just about to drop and it enrages the balloons just for a couple of seconds before they're out of range. And here is the big, big problem and props to that player there from Landlot. This gap, this channel right here between the first line of buildings and the Eagle Artillery Notice what it's done is created a void, and now all of my troops have gone either left or right around the Eagle Artillery. Nobody's going after the Eagle, and that is a big problem. Of course, you've got the Sweeper in there, you've got a lot of Expos left, and as we go forward again, you'll notice, there it is. Everybody's gone left or right, and that is major problems for me. Now I've got the Clone Spell left. Whoa, did you see it? Do you see the Clone Spell right there? Okay. Not sure, not not even, I don't know. I think at this point, this attack had fallen apart so much, it had gone so wrong that it was just a desperation clone. And now I'm trying to clone, I guess this group of balloons, I think it's just a panic drop. It really, it, it's, it's completely wasted. Check out the clone spell right there. That's right, nobody uses it. The balloons are down, the dragons are stalled on the lava hound right here, and then, We've got the Lava Hound that popped, and the Archer Queen, the Dragons, all getting fried. The Free Spell over here on the Eagle, and this Sweeper, that Sweeper's already done its job. That, combined with the Channel again, has forced everybody off to the right. Almost all of my units are already down. It's just not good. On the left-hand side there, you can see on the right-hand side, we've got the Warden. One dragon has managed to make it towards that town hall, the Giga Tesla, and that dragon's out of here. And now you can see the remaining dragons at the very top of the screen, and that's it, man. Uh, get ready for the rage quit. Gala rage quit incoming, and yeah, so, um, no. That absolutely, I mean, you know, there's ways that I could have avoided this as we look back at it. Uh, I made a ton of mistakes. I think it was rushed. You know, I didn't focus enough, and that's one of the problems with Clan War is you've got to, you know, do a little more planning. And you'll notice just that channel is the only channel in the base. That's the only place where they there is a big distinct gap like that. And it did exactly what it was supposed to do. And maybe, I don't know, lured me out after those two air defenses. The Expos did a great job of protecting the core. I think that I could have come from the opposite side. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll wait and see if somebody else on Lost Phoenix can three-star this base. Uh, again, these maxed out or nearly maxed out Town Hall 12s are not three-starred that often, but it does happen several times a war, and we'll see if somebody else will definitely will improve on what I did, and, and I'm counting on that. But maybe, just maybe, 
they can come back and triple this base. I, I can't I can't watch this raid again. It's too painful. <laughs> Man, I sounded really depressed going over that raid, but it was depressing. It turns out nobody came back and three-starred that base, and that was the end of that. But it was a fun war, as always. Thank you guys for watching. I promise future episodes slightly less depressing. I will try to fail fewer and win more raids. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Come back again tomorrow because I've got what? More fuller attacks. You should live stream all of your fails together at once. Oh wait, you do that every day. <laughs>